Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to Aptitude for CSR Net series. In this series, we are doing questions based upon different topics of aptitude and we have covered a lot of topics in this particular uh, playlist. So please watch the entire playlist in order to have a better uh, command over aptitude portion. So today in this video, we are going to take questions from average and uh, before doing questions, I will be explaining you some basic concepts and then we will take questions based upon that. Okay, so the questions will be super exciting. They will be off level of CSR net and gate exam. So make sure you understand the concept and at the end of this video, I will give you some questions to solve. So make sure you answer those in the comment section as well. All right. So having said that, let's start this particular video. So, uh, as I said, I will be giving you certain uh, formula first of all. See, the average of any a number, okay, average is calculated based upon a very simple formula, which is uh, sum of quantities, okay, sum of quantities divided by the number of quantities, okay. So, this is the basic formula which we use, number of quantities. So, uh, for example, if you have... Uh, five numbers like for example if i have five numbers 1 5 7 12 and 13 and if i have to take average of all of them so average of all of them will be 1 plus 5 plus 7 plus 12 plus 13 okay so i have added all of them and i'm going to divide all of them with 5 because they are 1 2 3 4 5 numbers okay that's why so this whole thing, if you add all of them, this is uh, going to be uh, 20 plus 32, 32 plus 6 is going to be 38 divided by 5 and which will be approximately equal to 5.6, okay, or this is going to be, sorry, uh, 7.6, okay, that's going to be the average of this, okay, so this is how we calculate average of any uh, given quantity, okay. Now, there are certain uh, general things which you should know related to average so if let's say if a person or if a particular uh, like object or car or vehicle anything so i'm taking a person over here so if a person travels with uh, a v1 velocity or, or v1 speed okay v1 is speed and uh, and travels same distance same distance back with with v2 speed okay then then the average speed then the average speed of person average speed of person will be given by the formula 2 v1 v2 divided by v1 plus v2 remember to apply this particular logic or to apply this type of thing it is very important to travel the same distance with two different speeds okay v1 and v2 and also the unit of these two speeds should be same okay so this is second thing which you should know about average then we have one more thing to be noted that if let's say there are two batches if there are two batches okay if there are two batches a and b okay uh, and uh, if we have to find out uh, let number of students number of students in batch a is equals to small a and number of students in batch b in batch b is a small b and let we also know the averages of both the batches okay so average of batch a is equals to x let's say and average of batch b is let's say y then the average of whole class the overall average the overall average okay will be given by the formula ax plus by divided by a plus b okay so if let's say you are given with two different uh, like uh, sets 
and you are given with the number of units in both the sets and you know the averages of both of them individually. So you can calculate the overall average by this particular formula. This is how we apply this particular logic. Okay. And then there are certain general things which you need to know. For example, average of, of n natural numbers, average of n natural numbers is given by n plus 1 upon 2 and average of even numbers, average of even numbers, average of even numbers is given by uh, n plus 1 okay uh, where n is the number of even numbers okay so these are certain formula which you should know now based upon this we will be doing certain questions we will apply the logic to solve those questions okay so let's say here is a question which we have that a student received the following marks in five of the six courses 91 86 81 79 and 92 the average of the marks in the six subjects is 85 how many marks did he received in the sixth subject so how to solve this question let's understand okay so first of all the number of the number of uh, subjects is uh, is 6 and you know the average the overall average is 85 so you know that average has a formula sum of sum of uh, you uh, like sum of uh, sub, uh, marks divided by uh, number of subjects right basically what we are trying to do is the first formula we are using sum of quantities divided by number of quantities so here quantities are marks that's why okay so the average is already known that is 85 some of the marks are 91 plus 86 plus 81 plus 79 plus 92 and sixth subject we don't know so let's say the marks obtained in that is x divide this whole thing by 6 okay now you have to solve and get the value of x that's all you have to do okay so for that you have to multiply this 85 with 6 so it becomes 85 multiplied by 6 and you have to add these numbers so the sum of these numbers will be 429 plus x and if you multiply 85 with 6 you are going to get 510 so all you have to do is now calculate for x so x will be 510 minus 429 so your correct answer for the value of x will be 81 so the marks obtained in the sixth subject is option number three that is 81 all right it is very simple question and this is how you have to approach it now i have taken a very similar question with it okay this is your homework question and here says that the average of sohan's marks in six subjects is 74 if the average in the five subjects excluding science is 70 how many marks he obtained in science okay that's what you have to tell and uh, you have to apply similar logic how we have solved the first question in the similar way you have to do this and you have to answer me in the comment section below okay so try to answer it over there and uh, let's take the next type of question now all right let's see this question it says that the average age of class is 20 of 29 students is 20 years and the, av the age of the teacher is included if the age of the teacher is included then the average increases by three months find the age of the teacher okay so it's a very good question how we are going to do it we are going to apply the same logic so first step step number one is to find out the total age of uh, of uh, uh, 40 students okay so the average age of the class okay so we know that uh, the number of students over here is 29 so we have to first of all calculate the, uh, the total age of 29 students okay that's what we have to calculate so total age of 29 students how am i going to do that okay so we will apply the same formula that average is equals to uh, num uh, sum of sum of uh, quantities sum of quantities divided by number of quantities right so if i know the sum of quantity if i want to find out the sum of quantities which is nothing but total age of 29 students i have to multiply the average with the 
number of students right that's what i have to do so the total age of 29 students is going to be average is already given to you is 20 years so you will multiply this 20 uh, this 20 with the number of students that is 29 and on upon multiplying you are going to get 580 years okay so that is the total age of 29 students now step number two step number two is to find the age of uh, 29 student plus one teacher okay so average age of 29 students plus one teacher okay so it says now uh, that uh, when the age of the teacher is included then the average is increased by three months so this is 20 years was already uh, the average and three months it is increasing we have to answer everything in terms of years so how am i supposed to so 20 will remain as it is to convert months into year i have to divide uh, because in a year we have 12 months so i have to divide it by 12 okay so this is going to be 1 by 4 and now i have to solve this so this will be 20 plus 1 upon 4 if i take the lcm 4 i will be getting 80 plus 1 upon 4 which will be 81 upon 4 okay so that is the average of total uh, average age of 29 students and one teacher now we are going to find out total age of 29 students and one teacher okay so step number 3 we are now going to just like we calculated the 20, uh, total age of 29 student now we will calculate total age of 29 students including teacher okay plus teacher or you can say 29 students plus one teacher okay when i'm going to do this uh, same thing i will apply that is i will multiply the average with the numbers so average is 81 upon 4 and uh, now the number earlier was 29 and one teacher is included so the total number now becomes 30 okay upon solving this you will get 607.5 years okay now you know that all the students collectively made 580 years when the teacher was added the total age became 607.5 years so you can simply now find out the age of teacher the age of teacher is nothing but uh, 607.5 minus 580 and if you subtract it you are going to get uh, 27.5 years okay so that is the age of teacher see just we have applied the same formula but it's a way of approaching it that has made this question challenging and this is how we can solve such questions i hope you guys understood how we have done this okay fine let's take the last question for this particular class it says that the mean of 40 observation was 46 later on it was found that an observation 38 was wrongly taken as 33 okay find the corrected value of mean now understand that mean and average are same things okay both are same things okay so we know the formula that uh, average is nothing but average is sum of quantities sum of quantities divided by number of quantities right so we will apply the same thing here so average is uh, of 40 observations so number of quantities number of quantities is given to us this is 40 and average is given to us as 46 okay what we need to find out is sum of observations or sum of quantities okay so sum of quantities or observation will be equal to average multiplied by number of quantities so let's do this so average is 46 multiplied by uh, there are 40 quantities so when you multiply you are going to get 1840 okay that is the sum of quantity now you know the corrected sum you have to calculate okay so correct corrected sum of quantities how am i supposed to get that see the usual uh, uh, like uh, uh, sum of quantities is 1840 but here 
this number was added okay so we need to uh, like it is said right that the obs uh, an observation 38 was wrongly taken as 33 so 33 was taken and 38 was excluded so basically whatever was taken and that you have to first of all remove okay why we are removing it understand because uh, this was wrongly taken right so whatever is wrongly taken you have to remove that and then you will add whatever needs to be added okay or whatever was correct thing so we will add 38 here 33 is taken out because that was wrongly taken so that we don't want in the uh, sum of quantities so we are subtracting that and we are adding 38 because that needs to be added there okay so effectively if you see so 5 must be added right 5 increase is going to happen so this will be 1840 and plus 5 which is going to become 1845 and now when you are going to calculate the correct average the correct average this will be the correct sum of quantities that is 1845 the number of quantities is going to remain same that is 40 if you divide and solve you are going to get 46.125 which is option number c okay one more way of op op approaching this particular question would have been see whenever a value is increased in the average or whenever you increase certain value in the average the average is also going to increase so here you are increasing from 33 you are making it 38 right so the average should also increase so option a and option b cannot be correct the usual average was 46 right so it cannot be lower than that option c or d could be correct since the increase is very less so that's why there will be slight increase in the average and that's why option c is correct okay this is a robust way of approaching this question all right so that's all for this video i hope you guys liked it so we have launched our own app on the play store uh, if you guys are not aware about it please download the app the link is there in the description of this video you can download the app and over there on our app there are two ongoing courses going on one is alpha batch for csi net and gate exam for physical chemistry we have covered entire syllabus of physical chemistry over there uh, it also includes pdf notes plus uh, mock test plus lectures uh, like recorded lectures are there uh, the classes are in english over here again we all we have one more course that is a test series for preparation of gate exam this include full length and topic wise uh, questions and the test series uh, if you are interested into it you can purchase these courses and take the benefit of it and all the other details are there on our app so please download the app and look upon these courses and i hope you guys will enjoy these courses as well that's all from my side for this video thank you so much for watching i will see you guys in the next one take care bye, -bye.